Hello guys, my name is Timgad, and I'm here today with two replays that I wanted to show, and I'm also here that I actually want... Nope. Hello guys, my name is Timgad, and I'm here today with two replays. The first replay is an Object 140 replay that I had with Link on Arctic Region. And the second replay is a replay of the uh, Jaffe, and it was an encounter battle on steps. But yeah, uh, I w the first thing I want to say is uh, sorry for being this long away, but I was working for five days in a factory. Uh, the funny part is, it was actually a, a cake, slash waffle, slash cookie, however you want to call it factory. And, like, it was not hard to do, like, it was quite simple, it was just like, getting the cookies in the box, putting the box on the thing, and it was quite easy to do, it was not hard at all. But the problem was, it was in weird hours, I was doing night shifts, uh, so I was doing, f it's not even, even a real night shift, it's only an evening shift, to be honest, it's from 2pm until 10pm. And I wasn't really able to make videos because, like, when I came home from work at 10 p.m., I I was not able to go just immediately to my bed. I wanted to watch some videos, some YouTube. I want to catch up with my subs like the usual subscribers, and I want to watch some like a movie or something maybe if I have time left. And like I went to sleep at around 3 a.m. in the morning every day, and I woke up at around 1 1 p.m. and yeah so my pr pretty much the whole week I woke up every day at 1 p.m. with other words I was pretty much working having some free time sleeping waking up and working again and that was my whole week so I was I wasn't really able to make videos but I'm back now my work is done uh, I will receive my payments next week Thursday if I'm correct and I'll be buying some new games because it's not a, I'm, not, I'm not, not, not not getting sick of world tanks but I just want to play some different games than world tanks and if you guys have like any suggestions on which game I should maybe buy it needs to be a multiplayer game like Battlefield 4 or something like that because I'm thinking about buying Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghost, uh, Armor 3, and I'm, I think that's it for now. I don't have something else in mind. But those are the three games I will be buying Thursday and also will be playing them Thursday. I watched Armor 3 before and I really like the realistic playstyle of the game. It's really a really fun game. I don't know, I watched some streams and I really enjoyed it. Battlefield 4, I played the open beta and that was amazing. Call of Duty Ghost, I played that with a couple of friends and I loved that as well. So, yeah, those those are the three games that I will be buying and will be playing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make any YouTube videos about it, but I will be playing those games for sure. And, yeah, like, uh, if you like, if you has have any suggestions on which game I should maybe buy, like a good multiplayer game, I wanna play with people, not with bots, not with computers. I'm not a fan of that. So, if you have like a game that is good for multiplayer, like maybe Titanfall, even like I don't know, Titanfall. Like I watched some streams before, but it didn't look like something special. But I will maybe take a look, another look at it later on. But yeah, let's get over to game. So, me and Linked pretty much destroyed the whole left side with our team. And the right side is getting killed as well. And we were actually having a pretty good game, both of us. Link is driving in at 121 and I'm driving my Object 140. And yeah. Most of you guys will guess which mod pack I'm using. I'm using Nilkashtin's mod pack. And it's updated. I will put a link for a video because I got this mod pack some time ago, and I'm really enjoying this mod pack. It's really good. Like you have 
the XVM. The XVM is quite weird, but you can adjust that. Then you have damage done. You can have you can also have if you press on control, your map will appear in the middle. You have hits received right there. And what do we have more? Mm, like the voices, if you like get one kill or, or two double kill or triple kill. They also say when you score bars in arms and when it's night or when you avenge somebody, you have that as well. Um, and yeah, like the Lucastian's mod pack, you can choose from multiple mods, and I've chosen the mods that I liked, and it's working perfectly. Like I also have team each people, I like that as well. It's a quite quite cool program, and yeah, I will put a link in the description so you guys can download that as well if you guys want. If you don't have a mod pack yet. And you should also download mod mods enabler because that is a quite useful program. You can just choose which mods you actually want, and it's quite simple to do. And yeah, as you can see, the game is going quite good. I already got five key damage, and I'm still going up. Kill this mouse, and yeah, there you go. Team got avenge low link. I I like that. It's a little aspect, like it adds a little bit to the game, and I really enjoy that. So, a Death Star is coming straight to me, and I'm like, shit, yep, I am gonna die. Get ready to one get one-shotted, and I got actually lucky that he actually shoots my tracks and does not pen me. So he only does the Ichi damage on me. And I'm actually quite happy that I'm still alive at the moment. The Yak Panzer is going for me, so I'm like, okay, now I'm dead. And nope, Yak Panzer U100 misses me. Completely. I was really happy about so, about that. So yeah, the, f the second reaction was like, okay, I need to get hold down here somewhere so I can shoot him. So he has less shots on me. So I went into this spot and I started to just go. I just went into my sniper mode and I just started shooting away. And I was I kept on moving because I didn't want to stay in one position because if I would do that, he could kill me like that. And he killed me there, but he is the last player alive in the enemy team and he is gonna die pretty soon. Yeah, there you go, Waffen Tracker for you. So yeah, that was the first game. Let's go over to the after battle reports. So here is the after battle report. As you can see I got some I got a quite good score there. I got A Sanker, High Caliber and Confederates. I also earned 4K XP. And yeah in general I had a pretty awesome game. I did 7.5k damage Fired 35 times, hit 32 times, and pen 26 times, so I bounced 6 times and missed 3 times. Quite unlucky, but eh, what, what you can do about that? Uh, I got penned 7 times, so I didn't really bounce much shots. Um, I also find this a little bit weird. Damage blocked by armor. It's not the usual. They changed that, but hey, whatever. It, like It's quite weird, but I will get used to it <laughs> in a while. I also spotted 5 vehicles and damage 7 and destroyed 4. And my damage upon detecting was 2580. So, yeah, in general, a pretty good game. Link had a also quite good game, nothing really special. But, yeah, also the other thing that I had is when World of Tanks got updated from 8.11 to 9.0. I had like 20 replays that I still had in my replay folder from 8.11 and I was not able to use them like it's like I was able to use them but it crashed every time like in the middle of the replay it just crashed for no apparent reason whatsoever so I needed to find a way to actually download back 8.11 and have that working and I found it I found how to do it today, so thank God I can still watch my E.11 uh, replays because I, because I have so much replays that I still want to show, but I just didn't have the time to record them, do commentary about over them, and yeah, I'm, they will come in the future. There's a lot, a lot of replays that I do want to show, but they will all come in the future. And yeah, also I was having, I was having pretty much three problems. First problem was me working and having the weird evening shifts. 
Second problem was Rolf Sachs getting updated and I was not able to rewatch my replays and this replay was from 9.0 that I had. And the third problem was that my graphics, let's say it like this, my FPS was so shit that, can, that, can, I, that I could barely play on low. Yeah, on low. I could barely play on low. I had around 40, 50 FPS on low. So I need to find a way to actually fix that. And I actually did find a way to fix that. Um, in the uh, res folder you have an engine XML file, I think it's called, I'm not sure, and, like, I've just changed that to an older XM uh, engine config file, and my FPS just went sky high immediately, and I could put play my game on max without any problems whatsoever, having 60 FPS or around 60 FPS. So I'm happy I got everything fixed, like, I have 8.11, in backup so I can watch my replays. I have 9.0 running on complete max without any problems whatsoever. So I'm really happy about that and I can actually see now the changes good and I'm really happy that I can actually play the game now. Because I was, I was getting really sad that I was not able to play the game because this is one of my favorite games all time and me not able to play this game yeah that's like I don't know I don't really play much other games than Roll Sanks. I just love Wolf Sangs too much, and that's the problem. <laughs> I love it too much. But yeah, this was the first replay. Let's go over to the second replay. So here is the second replay, and as you can see, I'm playing on steps. It's uh, an encounter game. Probably the best matchup you can actually get with the Chaffee. It's your seven game, and. I'm quite happy about this. <laughs> uh, my team isn't that great, their team isn't that great, so it's like a win-win situation for me, so... It, but we'll see how my team does against their team. But yeah, at the first, I wasn't really... I didn't really know where to go, like, where I can be a good scout. I tried middle to actually see if somebody was going maybe here, but I didn't see completely nobody so I was like yeah on this map the problem is I don't really know where to go with my scout because ELC is already going that way so I'm not really able to take his spot and as you, as, and as you also can see my team the split up of my team is quite weird first shot in the VK goes immediately in and I pen him without any problems whatsoever and yeah, as you can see the split up is quite weird, like one third of the team is fighting 1-2-3 line, then you have a couple of guys, four guys in 4-5-6 line, and then you have three guys in 7-8-9 line, me included. So, I try to put a shot into the VK, but no luck, and I can also see that he's using a derp, so I can actually evade his shots because they're that slow. And yeah, our team is completely dying on the right side. And that's the problem, like, what is my team doing? Because, like I said, like, I'm showing on the map, what are you doing in D5 and C5? You're doing jack shit. You're just sitting there, shooting nobody. The best thing for them to do was actually supporting the, their team on the right side, but they did not do that. And they're gonna go and pay price for it. So this moment, I saw that their team was pushing completely the right side. So my intention was, okay, if they need to push over that side, maybe some of them will go through middle if our team starts capping. And that was my plan. I can maybe go back here and snipe those guys that are actually crossing this. And actually my plan works surprisingly well. So I get... I killed the M4, pen him two times, do a random shot on the Q1S and get lucky and actually pen him. And I'm actually realizing that a lot of them are actually going through middle, so I'm like, okay, I need to really go fast to my position so I can actually snipe those guys. And yeah, my team is completely losing this. And I don't really see how we can actually win this game. 
But the good thing is, the Chaffee is an awesome tank. The speed of it is good. Mobility is good. The rotation is good. A lot of things are good on this tank. Uh, the gun itself, it's a quite good gun. Nothing really special. It's 115 damage and 137 penetration, if I'm correct. Yeah. And with gold, or the EPCR, you got 110 damage and 181 penetration. 80 85 penetration. So, I do have quite some gold because this tank gets tier 10 games sometimes. Like Prince puts a nice shot into me. Then I see uh, K1S just crossing that. I was like, okay, let me try to get some shots into him. But I just didn't have enough time to actually aim at him. But I see a T150 and I just start shooting with him. Second shot does not pen, it only bounces. Third shot bounces as well. Fourth, shots, fourth shot does bend, so I get quite lucky about that. Try to put a shot into the IS, but no luck. I bounce him. Then I go back to the T150. And then I also see that the Black Prince is also there. So I'm like, okay, there's no point of me peeking out because they're already pre-aimed on me. So what is, what is the point? I was like, okay, let me just try, try a different direction. But out of nowhere, there's a KV-1. KV-1 shoots and KV-1 has the Derp Gun. It's a quite dangerous gun if it actually does hit, because it will take away around average 390 HP for me, and I don't really want that. So I'm kind of panicking at this moment, trying to do damage to him. I bounce and hit the ground like a dipshit, so... I got actually quite lucky here that I put him on fire, and from my experience, people don't really have a fire extinguisher on low tier level so I kinda was looking around just because I was not expecting the kill one to actually put the fire out T150 T150 gets tracked and I just start shooting away this real time is ama amazing and the PM on this tank is quite good it's like an E25 only it's mobile and it's a scout tank and yeah I didn't finish him off there because I only have 23 shots left and every shot needs to be needs to count so I'm I don't want to miss my shots and I don't want to waste them on stupid kills that I don't need so I just let my team kill that T150 and at this moment I was like okay it seems like they're really pushing up on my K1S and my ELC so the best thing I can do here is try to go to D8 and actually try to snipe those guys from there somewhere so I see the KB1 is low HP and the K1S are low HP so I want to kill the KV-1 first, so there's a gun less. Then I go over back to the K1S. K1S misses. I put two nice shots into him, and I go over to the K uh, Black Prince. I put a shot into him, and then I'm realizing there are just too many tanks pushing up on me. So I was like, okay, uh, best thing to do right now is just to fall back and snipe them from far because they aren't gapping they're actually going for me so I was like okay let's be smart about this if I can get like far away from them I can shoot them without getting spotted because scouts don't lose their camo value on the move and in, when I'm in a bush they will not see me as well so I was like well, let's just do that so I see a black prince and I get a bit cocky here I start shooting away at that guy put one nice shot into him second shot bounces uh, and I try one random shot, and then I see a KV one s and... Yeah. I got too cocky and wanted to get the kill on the k one s But I pretty much forgot there was an other tanks around me. So I went out, showed my whole turret to every enemy possible, and got myself killed for that. So... Great play by me. Probably the best thing for me to do there was actually, uh, if I like, if I spotted a QNS, I probably just would go back and then go around here. And maybe if he would attack me, I could kill him and try to get here somewhere. Maybe kill the VK as well and try to snipe those guys. That'd be probably the best plan possible. But I just got too cocky and I play. I paid my price for it. But yeah, that was the game. Let's go to the Afro Battle Reports. So here is my Afro Battle Report. As you can see, um, 
in general, I had a pretty awesome game. I got first class and high caliber. 2000 experience in a defeat. QQQ. <laughs> I was really sad about this, but hey, what you gonna do about it? Yeah, I did 3033 damage and my base XP was 1410. So pretty much 1k XP more than the second guy with the most base XP. So yeah, I'm gonna blame this one on my team for just splitting up in such a weird freaking way. Like that map, like if you're gonna go right where they did go right to the other flank, not the flag, if they go right, go right good. Don't go into freaking middle. You can maybe have one TD just covering the middle. And the heavies and the mediums can maybe go right and just try to push through that, hopefully. And the TDs and like other tanks that are staying like are still active can go to the cap and try to defend as long as they can until the team pushes over that side and then they come then then they can come back and defend the base like the enemy team pretty much did. But hey, it didn't work out like that. But I still got a pretty awesome score. And yet these two games are from 9.0. Um I had these two games the Chaffee game I had today and the object 140 I had yesterday. I'm actually happy that I could get something uh, two good replays in such a short time. But I'll be putting more replays from 8.11 uh, in the future because like I have so much replays and I really want to show because some of them are really amazing but I just didn't have the time to make them or record them or do commentary over them and I really want to apo apologize for that but give me time and it will be all uploaded it will be all uploaded as simple as that but yeah, if you enjoyed the series, please, you can always leave a like. I would really appreciate that. Comment and subscribe. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.